Who's being We're live. Yes, Where's the other one? Oh, yeah. Welcome back, beautiful people of Community you Christian did, Church. You did get into a bad habit over there. There's three months. I've been uh, missing in action, but I'm back now. And Welcome back. Danny's a, daddy. a father now. He, hey, left. Hey, hey, he left the punk cake back there. Sarah. <laughs> Hi. What's up, Sally? Oh, sorry. She has Sally. decided. You broke it. It was supposed to be once a month. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was coming. She has decided. What's I was reading your shirt. Today is I have oh. decided yeah. to follow Jesus. No turning back. Oh, you're right. No turning back. Though none go with me, still I was. Is that right? Yeah. Though none go with me, still I was. Hi, Roger. That's what he said. Thank you. Hi, sister. Make sure you hold this over to Mary. Hi, Mary. You're going to hold up that Mary Jane's on here, Mary Jane's on here, Sorry, I'm not there. I'm comfortable here. We miss you, Mary Jane. And I'm the Mary Jane. Much more fun up here. Hi, Kathy. Kathy. No hiding in the back. People sit and listen to them, so. <laughs> Did you listen to it? I haven't had the time to. She's hiding in the back. Oh, that's why we don't have the time. You gotta go listen to it. <laughs> of course I recorded it. It's on really? YouTube. I'm not I sure who else is up there. No, I'm not. Audacity. Yeah, we can pull it from YouTube. Somebody has audacity. He's like, I don't know. But there's four other that. people on there. Hey, you want to do YouTube? YouTube. Yeah. You can agree to that. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's never right. talking that. Yeah. I even bragged about you being the up there going, guys, I can't be there in there to change this because I'm up here and just, really, I love that part. <laughs> you should come closer. <laughs> that was a good part. Then you see Francis come up. I even told him that. This the best part. I was like, guys, I can't change this. Allie's online, change. too. Yeah, Allie's online. Hi, Allie. Hi, Mama. What up, Allie? We miss you, too. She says we miss you guys. Hope you're feeling better. <laughs> 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 She's only saying that because no, of the drill. Uh, Maybe never. Thursday. <laughs> really? She's most likely. So, oh, you see the baby. Yeah, I don't want to play hands before. Oh, she had the baby? She had the baby. When did she have the baby? Oh, did you want Saturday. to see a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was Sunday morning. That's right. 642. Yeah. That whole day was, see, those, those two days were one day for me. I never went to sleep. She's good. Blank, I know. Blank, Jerry made too. Oh my goodness. I caught that right away. Jacob, the blank, he's like, who made the blanket? That's homemade, huh? She's not on Jerry? Wow. She's on the Jerry, you get down. And then I realized, well, that's a direct text. Yeah, it's just Jerry. Jerry, you get down. Jerry, you get down. Jerry, you get down. She sends text. I'm like, what is this guy? I thought she was texting, so somebody gave her your link. I'm like, she calls the juice forward that way. Like, oh, I will right now. I'm sorry. I didn't know I thought somebody. So we'll make sure everybody gets a number and that she gets on. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. She's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That she is now. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Just remember that when she's in her terrible twos, how right. perfect she was when she was a baby. And when she's 13. Uh, and 16. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, Cyrus didn't have terrible twos, so I'm terrified for his seniors. Oh, my goodness. You're going to get it twice as bad. Yeah. <laughs> Just what I tell everyone, don't be in a hurry for anything. Yes. Don't be in a hurry for her to walk or talk or anything. Just savor every bit of it because it goes so fucking bad. And yeah, then when they're growing up. <laughs> Tell them not to, not to want to be adults or leave or just let them enjoy their childhood. Oh, can we not talk about that? She's not even a day old. No adult. She's three days old. So he's <laughs> <laughs> three days old. Three days old. <laughs> okay, you're already going too fast. Right. You already missed the first one. She's three and she's not even laughing yet, dude. <laughs> right. Smile. Okay, she she's... never did. Cyrus never had a baby laugh. He uh-huh. had this weird little, like, chuckle. Choking. Yeah. Choking. yeah. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, just we like, never got the, <laughs> those cute little, like, laughs out of them, ever. <laughs> All right, so what I miss? You guys want to fill me in? No. Thank you. I'll give it some what do we have? We have, on Saturday, we have a men's and women's Bible study. Right? Hey. This Saturday? This Saturday? You're going to be here, Stephen? Yes, sir. Be there or be triangle. Where's Orlando and, uh, and Jackie? I don't know. Maybe they're. Yeah. Well, no, 
was going to say, where's the lander on Jackie? He could hear us. I could hear Jacob's go by. Oh, no. And, um, yeah, I, I, and Sunday, Saturday night, set your clocks forward. Oh, that's right. Spring that's forward, right. forward one hour. Because that was the first time I've ever Ooh, done like one that. with the tacky. I'll forget to do it. I, you, you know, do it. You don't need to do it. I wish we set it forward and leave it. I love it. You guys, you love DS. Can you help me in the set room for I go back to work? Can you help me finish that room before I go back to work? We're all going to help you. Him, me. I already set it up. Because I need to get <laughs> Okay, you need more screening? Him. Um, Eric. Eric. Baby King. Oh, Eric's on too? Yeah. Cool. She's going to come and clean that lady over there in the back. <laughs> I clean. Dude, your house is going to be bad. That's good. Yeah. Don't worry about it. They hit me up already. I'll let you guys see the baby. They have time to mine. <laughs> work for the baby pictures and stuff. Here's what she looks like. Stay out of the room. Get back to work. Yeah, yeah, right? They have time off. Just yeah. look in her room. Don't look at her. It's when does your time off start? After this weekend. After this weekend. Go. Okay. Jerry did an awesome He's job. Like Oh, the uh, blanket. The blanket. Oh. Yes, I love it. Actually, that was probably the best gift because it was personal. And it was made. everybody it gets one on the love. Oh, man. Those are <laughs> the best know. ones. Yeah. yeah. When she was showing me all the things, that was my favorite. That was the one that stood out. Where I was yeah. like, oh, I love that. That was done. That was yeah. done in love. Yeah. I'm glad you guys liked it. Diapers for day now. Diapers for day. No, no, they won't last trust that long. Me, they didn't know. <laughs> you could see them from wall to wall and no, not get. It. Crazy because they don't last that long. Right. All right. Well, let's explain. Just and, uh, <laughs> and just also, there's two I'm fundraisers. <laughs> Sarah has a fundraiser. Um, two Ooh. different ways. There's a QR code. You can hit her up or the, on the screen back there. Um, or uh, she also has Something tickets for a raffle for a giant time. Easter basket. Um, and then so, and I have the tickets so. Oh, that was announced on Sunday. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. And then Angie has a fundraiser for her kids for um, baseball. Baseball. I thought it was yeah. soccer. Baseball. And no, so soccer's hit, up too. Hit Angie up. I'm down with girls. Go, or just I'm hit Angie. With the soccer oh, issues. I mean hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you guys want to, if you guys feel like it, uh, since Allie and I are... Uh, Fresh with parents. If you guys feel like bringing us dinner or lunch, you guys can always do that. So, are we allowed to Uber it? <laughs> sure, if you guys want to. Is that too impersonal? Do you guys have a mutual meal? Uh, no, we like hamburgers. We like pasta and burritos. There was something that <laughs> there was something where you can bakers. Yeah, so you want to do it? <laughs> I, I had Ali put it in the for the hamburgers, yeah, the burritos. Yeah, because you want to do it when somebody else is already doing. Right, so like you what can like pick pasta? a day. Mm -hmm. I think you could do that thing, meal train. It's like a meal train. Okay. And then you just pick a day, and you guys can come up and bring us something. So. Cool. That's because he's gonna starve if we don't feed him. <laughs> I'll just eat mac and cheese. That's exactly so. what I said. Oh, poor Jay got. When I saw him, I called poor Jay. <laughs> hey, when I saw him, he had top, eaten for like top 36 ramen hours. Is not sustenance. <laughs> yeah, I love that stuff too. I will do that. It does not oh, give me one. Because you need. Never eat. It's just <laughs> fasting, and that's right about this breaking point. It's about 36, 38 hours. Yeah, you should that. fast. So there we go. <laughs> so you were double blessed. You can always come to my house and eat. Yeah, I will bug them. Tony bugged him while we were gone, so good. Not really. She was actually good. She went to the store with me the other night. Yeah, she was telling me. She filled your cart full of candy bars. She bought cookies and Starbucks. She bought. She bought what all he just said. All the stuff we don't. All the stuff we don't let her eat because she overdoes it. She got. Yeah, because you guys were out of the house. Yeah. Oh, and gosh. Cody and it was because he didn't know, or Cody didn't. Know. Cody didn't even make her pay for it. She she said, "No, I'll get it for you, honey." <laughs> I, I wanted to kick her under the cart. Wham! What are you talking about? <laughs> Two hundred dollars. Yeah, she got she got top ramen too. That's what, or that little that, what are they called? The ramen. Yeah, ramen noodles. I told her there's no vitamins in that stuff. She's like, I don't care. So <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna get started. You guys want to pray in? All right. No start. Father, we just thank you, Father, for this day, for this time together, Lord, for your word, Lord. And just um, as we read your word, Lord, just feed us with it, Lord. Um, um, 
reveal it to us, Lord. Show us your word, Lord, and write it in our hearts. And, and Lord, help us to take, put it into action, Lord. Um, whatever you lay on our hearts, whatever you convict us of, Lord, just help us to uh, grow in you, Lord, through it. We just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Huh. Orlando texted me, he's like, hey, we heard that there's an APB out for us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said they are making it today because Memo and Francis are coming by for dinner. Oh, 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 that's cool. Awesome. So, okay. That worked out. That's good. All right. Someone else has to lead us in. I wasn't here because I don't know where we're at. We're on we're First on, Corinthians we're 13, on, 13. Oh, we're, we're on 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Place. Yeah. 11, 12. You want to tell me what it says? <laughs> we, we, uh, but we got to start. three oh, remain. Yeah. Faith, hope, love. The greatest of these be in love. And somebody else can take it on after that. And what? Where? why do we read that? Why do we go there? That's what she was getting at. Somebody else. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Jerry? To keep that in mind when we're reading the scriptures, faith, hope, and love. You've yeah, got to man. see that in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I don't want to see in the scriptures. Yeah. yeah. Love you don't want to see destruction, death, and anger. Right. Anger. Right? Yeah. But it sounds like so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, did want to op- I have something to open with. Um, and, and going back on the triumphal entry, I had talked about how this was prophesied in Daniel and the 70 weeks of Daniel and um and how they how they um how 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 they've calculated the whole date well I got a paragraph here and this guy this guy he talks about it says yes did you bring us all a copy no I'm just I'm reading this so you can take notes from it if you want Okay, a most compelling biblical prophecy is found in Daniel chapter 9, verse 25, written 500 years before the birth of Christ. The oldest preserved copy is dating 200 years before Christ. So it foretells the very day Jesus would enter Jerusalem, the day. Um, The prophecy states 69 weeks of years, which is 69 times 7, comes out to 483 years, would pass from the decree, decree to rebuild Jerusalem until the coming Messiah. This is according to Babylonian 360 day calendar, not ours. So there's, there's, we have 365 days. Since Daniel was written in Babylon during Jewish captivity after the fall of Jerusalem, thus three, 483 years times 360 days equals 173,880 days. According to the records found by Sir Henry Creswick Rawlinson in Shusham Palace and confirmed in Nehemiah 2.11, this decree was made on March 14, 445 B.C. by Artaxerxes Lamanas, <laughs> exactly 173,880 days later on April 6. 32 AD, Jesus Christ rode into Jerusalem upon a colt, fulfilling the prophecy in Zechariah 9.9. The world celebrates this day as Palm Sunday. Anyway, that's what, that's what I was alluding to. Yeah, where well, we Thursday. got to, everybody was just confused. Right? Well, I was confused because I read something else, and I, had, I said Luke 18, and it was 17. But anyway... Um, that day wasn't random. It was prophesied 500 years. Well, just make sure we all get copies of that, okay? There's a copy machine like in the body. Right? <laughs> anyway, I just I just wanted to share that because that was uh, pretty powerful to me when I first read it. Roger said they also used to have 13-month calendars. Hi, Roger. Oh, yeah, that's true. They yeah. follow the cycles. Right. That's so that's pretty, pretty crazy. And so... It, is a lot goes into calculating that day because we use a whole different calendar with leap years and all that and you know and it's been through a few different revisions too so and and the Babylonian calendar was different from the Jewish calendar so it was like but anyway it's all all moon cycles is the best way but yeah April 6 and you caught, you caught Jacob up on all this too this confusion he missed <laughs> right so that's where we're, 
That's where we ended up on on the, the day he rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. And we touched on it too. It was the day the 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 lamb, the Passover mm -hmm. lamb was chosen. And that was the day he rode into the town of the donkey. Oh, what's it called? And Zachariah 9, 9 I explained it too. It's another talking about the uh, coming in on a donkey. Um, we actually learned that a song <laughs> called Zachariah 9, 9. Be here Easter Sunday. Yeah, Easter Sunday, probably the Sunday before too. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It's One literally talking about... Yeah. Now, is this that 7 o'clock service or 6 a.m. or something, then? Mm, not that I was uh, Probably at the 9. Probably the 9. nine. Probably going to play at the 9. <laughs> that's a little bad, because now they were throwing out some time. I don't think they throw on my clock right now. Because this... Oh, that's what we should have put in the announcements, too. This Again, we got to mention as much as we can. Easter Sunday. Bring someone... It's 6 a.m. sunrise and regular service is at 9, not 10.30. And so, and so there's breakfast in between. There is going to be early ones around. Okay. And that was at 6, you said? Yeah. That's like the and 6, service. I don't think, will be online, will it? Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. uh, not unless you guys want it to be. We have to is do a lot of figuring. We set it yeah. outside, okay. so. So then, probably not. So the nine o'clock will going to take a lot to do that, but no. nine o'clock will be online. Be awake. Unless they're here, he will. He'll probably have a little bowl be here or be rectangle. <laughs> hey, Is that where those smiles come from? The bowl. <laughs> okay, so now we're in we're in uh, Mark so eleven hard. twelve. <laughs> Jesus clears the temple. Ooh, this one's really good. Okay, I'll read it. All right. Um, the next day as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season for figs. And then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple area and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, it is, is, is it not written, my house will be called a den of prayer for all nations? but you have made it a den of robbers. The chief priests and teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him, for they feared him, because while the crowd was amazed at, well, the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. That's where my hands. No, no. But you know what? Let's, cut, let's take the, the next 25. one too, because... Ours ends at 25, this is the 25. Mine ends at, mine's at, ends at 19. But I'll read the next section anyway because it goes with the first part. 20, in the morning as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from, from the roots. Peter remembered and said, Jesus, said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig, fig tree you cursed has withered. Have faith in God. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. I will tell you the truth. Anyone who says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes what he says will happen, says, believes what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him so that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Amen. Did you raise your hand a minute ago? Yeah, I was trying. I wasn't trying to be rude, but um, I needed the chapter. Oh, we're <laughs> so so I was Mark just eleven. You. you are lonely down there. See, you need to be right Mark here, 11. girl. Come on. Come you on. should be here. Oh, Mark eleven. What? Twelve. Uh, we started at twelve. Yeah, somebody's playing favorites with our boy back there too. Mm -hmm. And did it 20... 26? 26. Yeah. That's what they think he says there. Hey, does anyone have verse 26 on them? 
It is. That but is if you do not 25. forgive, neither oh, yeah. will your father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Okay. Oh, you have it? Yeah, Wait, it's on the it's footnote, the too. It, mm -hmm. Well, it's not on my footnote. One just says oh. it's been inserted by a copyist um, from early manuscripts. Oh, it's oh not yeah, okay. Yeah. My footnote says, but yeah, same thing. But if you do not forgive, uh, neither, neither will your, will your neither father. Will your father. Yeah. It told me to go to 16 in heaven for a Yeah. Which says that exactly. Yeah, it says the same thing. Which is true. I mean, if you're if you're holding something against someone, uh, you really think God's going <laughs> to mm -hmm. not hold something against you? Because that's, that's the whole thing. Um, we, uh, the Bible says it over and over and over. If before you take your gift to the altar, Matthew if you have something Matthew against Matthew someone, go make it right, and then bring your gift to the offer, mm -hmm. uh, altar. Because, um, uh, you know, God forgave you everything. Mm -hmm. You know, and then who are we to hold something back? Even that parable of the guy, uh, the king, uh, the guy that forgave the guy his debts and tremendous amount of debt, forgave him of it, and then the guy goes out and he's almost strangling his brother for 20 bucks. <laughs> Give it to me now. And then the servant saw this and went and reported it. Mm -hmm. He says, I, I forgave you so much and you can't forgive this guy? You can't pass it on? Is that where the stitches And then threw it in the jail. Get stitches came from? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I'm kidding. Right. But no, Christ is our example and we need to forgive. And, and 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 the easiest way to re, uh, learn how to forgive is to remember the forgiveness we received. You know, and, I think of and, those sins you can't let go, yeah, and how and that, many times you ask the Lord, and then the Lord will work in you to help forgive others for the for the things that you do and the things mm -hmm. that they do. It's crazy. That's what really will soften your heart towards yeah. others. Because you're like, I can get over with this stupid sin. And the next thing you know, you're forgiving everybody else because you keep asking for forgiveness all the time. I'm mad at this guy because he <laughs> cut me off. And look what I've done to Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <He> forgave me. <laughs> so I got a question for everyone, but Matt, Jacob, and Dad, because they already know the answer. I know. Don't look at me. It's for you guys. All of you. Is Three in the back. Wait, is Bone no, Bone over there? Those, yeah. Okay. You can. Um, why did Jesus curse the tree? Hold on, wait a minute. I'm going to tell you right now. I like this question. I, I wish I was part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know the answer, though. That's the thing. <laughs> it's a thinking question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is kind of hard to break that Trust down. Me, just when I is. when I had. No, are we going to turn this? Just to tell us. Just tell us what, what you guys think. Yeah, we'd actually really like to know. We're, I think it's because he was hungry and didn't have any figs on it. <laughs> I think it's I think like even the followers. Um, I, I, wait, I, 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 yeah, how the followers are. If um, how do I want to wear this? Um, I know you know where I'm going with this. Like a teaching lesson. Yeah. Okay. Like there's no, there was no fruit, so nobody's gonna get. That's like a young, somebody that's not reading the Bible doesn't have the faith and the love to give back God's words. Mm -hmm. Then don't ask them anymore. Even though it's ask, out of season. Out of the yeah. Yeah, because there's no season when it comes to Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spot on. Boom. That's what I I loved it. So I did right? Yeah, yeah. you got okay. right on. Okay, I can go on back to bed. <laughs> See, I'm at my best when I have a fever. <laughs> no, I ask that because uh, a lot of people, I, when they get there, they do get stumped. And they're like, what does this mean? And so I wanted to see... Like how many of you get stumped like, on that? <laughs> but, no, that's good. I like, I like that you guys work together. Because like, I wanted my thought that's out. That's the point. Is you, you're supposed Cause to I sit at home with these great right things about 1313. It's like, since again, I'm like, oh, I forgot how that was going to come out perfect. <laughs> Cause I, we're called to bear fruit, period. Yeah. In season bear fruit. and out of season. It, it tells and, us to be ready. And, and, it's, and, it's, it and it's around everyone. I'm the whole world baby needs baby to daddy see daddy our fruit, <laughs> not just not just not just other believers, mm -hmm. or not just people that are going to church. Or you know, we need to we need to sh uh, sh bear fruit with everybody. everybody. Shine the seed. 
with everybody so that so that people can see because the world's not going to know who Christ is unless we show him. Oh, I knew that, though. But yeah, that's so that's it, bearing fruit and and um there's a there's a lot of lot of the Bible talks about a lot of this like Jesus even says it in one of the letters to the churches he goes you know, I wish that you were hot or cold mm-hmm. but since you're lukewarm I spit you out of my mouth you know um, that's a person that says oh I, I, I know Jesus but nothing in their life says it nothing in their life is displaying him and there's no fruit in their life you know again we can't judge who is and who isn't that's not us that's God but he, he said that he said I wish that you were hot or cold but since you're lukewarm I spit you out of my mouth you know it's pretty harsh mm-hmm but you, you guys know, are worried about you not being you guys being lukewarm at all me yeah you guys you guys ever like go to the scripture and really dive into that lukewarmness and see what that's all about I try yeah. I mean I do read it yeah you guys want to go there? Yeah, let's go. Okay, well, where are we going? I'm going to find it. I'm going to find the scripture? Yeah. It's oh, that's in, in Revelation. That's in Revelation. Oh, that's you meant like the, there's another, we're not oh, going there's to go another the one in here, too. Never lost. It's a scary part. Laura says well, we don't need to go into that one yet. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny that oh, night. I'm too cracked here. It's not that scary when you actually dive into it. He talks oh, about yeah. narrow is the way. Yeah. There's there's a bunch of scriptures that you. That's the one I was looking for. Yeah, it's Luke 8. There we go. Are we going Revelation? to Revelations or Luke? Yeah. Revelation is the one that the spit, spit, spit you out. Luke will be warm. You can either be hot or cold. That's there's the also one. one right here. Matthew 7. So. Just give yeah, it's the same thing as Luke 8 or whatever. Oh, yeah, and he goes better, not so around that says the Matthew Luke. 7. That's the one. Yeah, but like I like the I like the Luke one better. Because oh, and the tree and it's, it's not Luke eight, but it's, uh, it's yeah, like probably there. like seven or nine or whatever. It's, like, it's right there. Matthew seven, Luke. I'll tell you right now. Here with me. Just for your notes, Matthew seven, starting at thirteen. Watch for me. Thank you. The narrow door. Yeah, I think that is it. Well, Luke 13, 13. 22. 13, 22. Oh, it's in the narrow yep. door one? Yeah, that, that is it. 13, 22, okay. So which one are we going to start with? Whichever one you want. Oh, yeah. should we start with one? I just, I just read this. <laughs> I like this one better because of the more deductions. Right. right. So we're just going to go straight to the effort yeah. you put into oh, no. right. the right. We'll start. He also hears. Sorry. I got what you were saying. Matthew, Matthew 7. Seven. Uh, Matthew 7. We can 7 13. Let's we'll start in Matthew 7 real quick. All right. Matthew 7. Oh. And then we're going to read. Oh, okay. We're going we'll to read follow up with yours. Yeah. The reason why is because when you read um, the two different versions, you, you get a more of a yes, understanding to it. Just two verses in Matthew? That's oh. why. Oh. That's why I'm starting there. Oh, because you get I bigger depth to, than the other one. I wanted to go all the way down to 23. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Matthew? Lord, Lord? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lord, Lord? So then right. Matthew or... Matthew, Matthew, Matthew 7, 13. 7, 13. 13. Matthew 13? 7, 7. 7, 7, 13. 7, 13. 7, 13. 7, 13. Okay. Yeah. We'll wait for you. Okay. <laughs> I'll read super fast. Wait. Well, okay. I'm going to read straight through this and not stop. <laughs> okay, you're going to go 13, 13 <laughs> to what? 20 to what? 23. 20, 23. 23. 23. I, I can't that. see. That was when I heard about that verse and I went to go look it up myself, I was like, okay. Take a break real quick. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> does, but when you dig into the depth of oh, what no. it actually means, yeah, no, like you that's all. It's all about like, fruit bearing and stuff. Yeah, you know, what it means to produce fruit. Uh, you have produced this fruit. Having the relationship. You go, oh, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. This is. I know. I know. This is the walk I'm supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. And and that's and something else to remember about this: if you start worrying about this, 
know that's the Holy Spirit putting that in your heart, and that's the evidence of the Holy Spirit living in you. Mm -hmm. So don't be don't be Amen. shaken by it. Use it to spur you to do better, because that's all God wants. He doesn't want us to be. He doesn't want to beat us down and step on us. Look, you're doing no good. You know, no. He wants to lift us up, and he wants to help sure. us to do better. Mm -hmm. And, and if you sweep it under the rug, do you do better? No. So he reveals it to us, and that's evidence of the Holy Spirit in your life. You know. Mm -hmm. So um, okay. Okay. Fast. Okay. Uh, third, seven thirteen. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By, your, by their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from a thorn bush? or figs from thistles likewise every good tree bears good fruit but a bad tree bears bad fruit a good tree cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire thus by your fruit you will recognize them not everyone who says to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out, drive out demons and perform many miracles? And then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Yeah. What do you guys get from that? Pretty deep. Mm, I'm not answering all of them tonight, guys. So you know what, what I'll say, on. what I'll say is, when he's talking about that day, right? He's talking about like, what would it be, like end times, your or your day? It's like a type, day of judgment. Kind yeah, of to type of thing, and then it's like obvious showing like the the switch in, in demeanor with the people, you know, because we've all had a lifetime to get that relationship with him, and the people you were saying right. who, who don't bear the fruits or anything like that are the ones that are like, wait, I thought I was doing right, you know? And it shows, like, the sternness, because it's, you've had forever to come into a relationship with Jesus, you know? You know, I feel like it's re uh, like rejection too. Mm -hmm. Just um, absolutely, you you rejected me, and now I'm rejecting you. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a you you had the chance, you know, to enough. know me and know the word. Right. And you chose not to. So, mm -hmm. so I have a question. Since uh, we're talking about this, what is the will of the Father? Because it says it directly there. That's that's the reason why they don't enter heaven. Okay. So what's the will of the Father? Live a Christ-like life. Mm -hmm. If you read those two verses or three verses, that's the will, right? Mm -hmm. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. <coughs> those are the two greatest commandments, is what he says, because it sums up the commandments. Yeah, it's also in Deuteronomy. I live in a Deuteronomy. <laughs> But, well, everyone has neighbors. <laughs> I'm your neighbor. Yes, um, Thank you. But the other thing is, if you read further back in Corinthians, I say back because we what keep does reading that say? You say it says it where? Oh, those two? Right up there? You said, right what here. is the will of the Father? Oh. It, says, it, says, yeah. Yeah. it says, what are the two greatest commandments is that one. And then I, I quoted those two greatest commandments. But, uh, or at least Jesus is answered. It also says in John is to believe in the one who was sent. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to believe is to live in mm -hmm. such a way that you, uh, that you, you like, like if you're thirsty, you go to a water fountain, right? Even though you don't know where that water comes from, but when you get thirsty, you go, oh, you know, I'm, I need to get a drink. And so you go to that water, you live in accordance that I'm going to go to that water fountain, press the knob and get water out of it. It's the same way as if you believe in Christ, you're going to live your life in such a way. Then this would be the fountain, right? And the, so, <laughs> the bread, the <Exactly>. bread. <laughs> no milk here. <laughs> so that's why you read on, and he says, "Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles?" Mm -hmm. But it's like going back to First uh, Corinthians thirteen, the love aspect, right? Exactly. In it, he says, "You can 
sit there and have tongues and do all these great things, but if you do not love, it is nothing. Mm -hmm. just it is all many here. It is it's all clanging, gong. sounding gong, gong or a clanging cymbal. And so that's the whole point. Is it's not just about doing all these amazing things and being a magician and doing crazy stuff. It's about or being a nice guy. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And I actually shouldn't have stopped right there because I'm going to finish off the chapter here. <laughs> there, he just broke your idea. Why, wise and foolish builders. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine. See, he's, he's following this up because he doesn't want to leave them hanging or leave them hopeless, right? Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain came down and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against the house, but it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Christ is the rock. But if everyone, if anyone hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice, he is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the, and the rain came and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell with a great crash. Like uh, when Jesus finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because yeah, that, that he taught as one who had authority and not as the teacher's little law. Yeah, that last paragraph too is the full context of the entire Mount, Sermon on the Mount. Mm -hmm. So when he's talking about teachings, it's everything he went over, right? And he was talking about like how how we should be. In, in such a way that we're producing fruit, right? Right. All the things that he goes over are just fruits of the spirit if you put them into the right practice, right? Like um, the meek, the if, pure in heart, exactly. the judging the others, brutal. the whole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the whole thing, and, yeah. and I think it's in Ephesians, right, where it actually goes over the fruits of the spirit. Is that Ephesians? Galatians. Galatians, mm -hmm. and you can read about the. The, the fruits of the spirit. You can read. You can go all the way back to like the beginning of Matthew two, and it talk. Uh, the Pharisees come up to John the Baptist, mm -hmm. right, and uh, they're curious about. Uh, it's easier, just I think we read it. Actually, not long ago. Mary said, "What? <laughs> what? What?" She can't hear you that well because it's you're too quiet. You said Galatians talks about the fruit of the spirit. Galatians. Yeah, it actually it goes over the fruit of the spirit. Can you hear me, right I knew someone was going to ask. That's okay. how I was looking. Yeah. So, uh, like, when you go back to where the start is, like, I like to start at the, the start and progress. Uh, if you go to ver uh, chapter 3 of Matthew, verse 7. Uh, Matthew. The B attitudes. How to B attitudes. Yeah. Start at five. <laughs> I remember I didn't understand that one for the longest time. Right. And I was watching Matthew the, 3, 7. the Chosen. Um, yeah, he And I was like, oh my goodness. Thank you. Can you get my back now? I can understand that. And so <laughs> then it just though. all clicked. It was crazy. It wasn't the show that, you know, I just read it over and spent time with the Lord. And it was just one of those puzzles that finally fit together. And yeah. all of this came crashing. It was crazy. It was one of those crazy moments. But okay, so we're at seven? Mm -hmm. Everyone there? It says, But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. Right? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. Repentance, right? Um... And do not say, do not think you can say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father, right? Because they, they think it's their bloodline. I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. What do you guys think of that verse? That verse is so long. I think stones. of uh, who are the right? stones? I, you know what I think of? <laughs> who are the, the stones? Pharisees. <laughs> you know what I think of also is uh, and they Ezekiel. Were sad, you see. Huh? Ezekiel. Okay, go for it. In Ezekiel 32, he talks about the Valley of Dry Bones. Mm -hmm. I think it's 32. Don't don't quote me on that one. Um, I keep telling someone, and I need to re go back and reread that part. But in Ezekiel, let me just say that. In the chapter in Ezekiel, he talks about the Valley of Dry Bones. I preached on it once, but uh, in it, these dry bones that were so dry, it's practically like stones. Right. That 
there's no marrow. It's completely bone, mm -hmm. as you the saying, bone dry. And uh, he says to Ezekiel, preach to these um, bones and give them life. And then breathe the light, or preach to the air um, to tell it to all uh, enter the bodies and give it life. And Ezekiel so he, 37. 37. I'm somewhat close. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the right area. <laughs> we'll say that. But uh, he tells them this, and the next thing you know is he witnesses the bones rattle, and then he sees them come together, and put, um, skin starts going and sinews he watches as the creation of a body comes together and then god tells him again prophesy to the air and tell it to enter these bodies and they did and he saw a mighty army before the lord so those stones are or the gentiles or the the people that are outside of that law mm -hmm. right because he's talking to the pharisees who are the teachers of the law and they think in such a way that they're saved by their bloodline and not by the faith that Abraham had, Abraham had, right? Because that's where it all started. If you could, if you read Romans, um, and so he's telling, he's telling, uh, he's telling the Pharisees that these stones, these people who are rigid in their ways, God will um, raise up children of Abraham in it. You know, and that's what he does. That's how I was the taken as a stone, stone is the, the hardened flesh. thinking of these. Right, the, yeah. That's how that I was taken as the hardened thinking that, you know, you're yeah. just yeah. stuck on that. It's wrong. Yeah, it, it's everybody. It's not. It's, it's the pride, the unwavering, the yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, anyone who's like rigid in their thought. Ezekiel also talks about, uh, remove from me this heart of stone and give me a heart of flesh. Yeah. Is that in the 37? Uh, no, it's somewhere before it. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I, I read through Ezekiel. So that's where it I starts, right? remember all the... Producing fruit is keeping, it, it is in oh, keeping with repentance. So if we're in constant repentance, then we will produce what Jordan's going to bring us next, right? Mm -hmm. we, we will... We will produce fruits of the spirit because we're in that constant walk where God's showing us what we're doing wrong and we want to fix it instead of overnight. Like some things overnight we'll just fix. Other, other times it's going to be we're going to be in that constant walk of repentance. Lord, forgive me for that again. I did it again. It's going to be a struggle. It is a struggle, right? Um, Thirty-six. 26. It's that part that we have to rejoice in our sufferings, right? Yeah. You know, it, it's it's crazy cool. You know? Mm -hmm. you know, so it, so when we go back to this lukewarm. Uh, scriptures, you you can easily when you dive deeper into what what is good and what is bad, as a, a, a as you're living the life of a Christian, you're not gonna be Lord Lord, you know mm -hmm. you're gonna be like oh well as long as I'm doing this this and this, then I'm I'm in the favor of the Lord the Lord <laughs> loves me you know mm -hmm. Galatians tells me both sides of the fruit. <laughs> right, it, it's crazy. It's so awesome. It's so like it hits you hard. The so reason why I laugh. The reason why I laugh is because it's so convicting. When you read it, you're like, which one? Delicious. Delicious. Uh, we're gonna go there after he finishes. Oh, oh yeah, because so, I've been waiting on that one. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Galatians one. I, I got as far as that because I was like, what are you gonna share? So oh, okay. So in Galatians chapter five. Verse 16 on through 26. Galatians 5. 16 through 26. For sure. Right off. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You were jabbing me. It was only a tiny one. It was a staple. No, 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 no. no. 16, 516? Yes, 516. Thank you. 16. Yes, yeah, sir? Mm hmm. Dang, you want to start at 16? Are you sure you don't want to start at 13? So I said. <laughs> uh, yeah. You sure you don't want to? This is what. I, mean, you you know, I, <laughs> I read down, but. I, I'm going to start Thir carrying white out. 13. <laughs> or. We can start at 13. It's working for you now, anyway. 13? 13? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's all good. I'm going to put a big dark three over the six. Uh, five, uh, 513? Yeah, 513. It's like three verses up. It says, 
You, my brothers, were called to be free. Called to be what? Free. 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 What does that mean, right? You know, you're right. I need to read it like five times. <laughs> called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful nature. Rather, serve one another in love. You see that? You see that, that freedom where he says, do not use that freedom to indulge? That's that Lord, Lord part. Mm-hmm. That really is what that Lord, Lord part is. Really freedom is. to do wrong. Mm-hmm. And the next part tells you the part right after. It's all of the Lord's will. Serve one another in love. Rather, or sorry, the entire law is summed up in a single command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22. Jesus came to what? Fulfill the law, right? Mm -hmm. How did he fulfill that law? By living it. By loving people. By loving everyone, right? So bomb, dude. This is so good. It is awesome. (laughs) If you keep on fighting and devouring each other, watch out, or you will be destroyed by each other. Sorry, but that goes back to Ephesians that we just read. No, when he called them a brood of vipers. Mm-hmm. That's Matthew. That's what, or sorry, Matthew. <laughs> My bad. I know. I was like, I'm like, see how we get, ooh. It's all right, guys. When you go back and read that, a brood of vipers, a brood of vipers is actually like a freshly batch of vipers, and they'll actually do that. They'll bite at each other, bite at each yeah, other. Yeah, because he said Pharisees and Sadducees, mm-hmm. and that they were divided in their teachings. They didn't, one believed a certain way, and another believed a different way. Huh? Okay. No, he's he's just quiet. Oh, Say that again, though. The, the, about the Pharisees and the Sadducees. So they both taught. Were, yeah, they both taught. I think one against okay. each other all the time. Okay. They both believe. I think that. one believed in the Torah only, mm-hmm. and then I believe the other believed in in the rest of the prophets. Okay. So I'm not the sure. Don't quote of the me Old on Testament. that. But they did have different teachings, and they would they would battle on those teachings. Mm-hmm. There were actually, if you read in first century uh, uh, writings, that there was a, there was two guys that were like, they were almost like political. Uh, governors, definitely. They weren't governors, but they, they were, were. They were just teachers of some sort that hold, held like a political power, and they would battle on each other on how how they thought the scripture um, was put out. And some people would follow that person, and some people would follow that person, and they came against each other like broods of vipers. Okay. And that's why he's, that's why John said that against them. Did he call them the brutal vipers? Yeah, like and even they got offended at it too because they knew what he was meaning. I always remember the Sadducees. They were sad because they didn't believe there was a resurrection. They were <laughs> sad, you see. You see. <laughs> they were sad, you see, because they didn't believe there was a resurrection. Yeah, like even in the chosen, uh, one of those political guys is mentioned, um, and they actually go to him to try and go after Christ hmm. because he had some type of political power to up, uproar and all they were trying to do is get that guy to uproar and take a stance so the other guy would uproar mm-hmm. take a stance and then it was both guys were talking about this one guy so they can go after this one guy to uh, get him politically charged of some sort in blasphemy Indeed. right that's what people to their side yeah exactly and same thing we do today which where they were acting <laughs> as broods of vipers yeah. you see it's mm-hmm. crazy so even even to get what they wanted, which was to crucify ago. Jesus. Right. right. It, it's like it's like they forget who God is. Mm-hmm. You know, you're you know the word, but yet you don't live the word. Mm-hmm. You, right. you just want your own power. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's like a lot what we see today too. Mm-hmm. I, I was going to say that, but then I realized we're online. We gotta. Well, we we, we still love our brothers. It's just, we, don't, we don't. It's just it's a, that's just what happens. Mm-hmm. Just, that's human nature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, going back, 15 again. Okay. It says, if you, if you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out, or you will be destroyed by each other. Amen. And then he says, I so like I say, huh? I say I like that word. It, it's very true. We're giving that an amen. <laughs> <laughs> amen. <laughs> and he says, so I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the sinful nature Sorry, gratify the desires of the simple nature. I knew I missed something. For the simple nature desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit is contrary to the simple nature. They are in conflict with each other, so that you do not do what you want. Romans. All right. <laughs> but if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. 
The acts of the sinful nature are obvious. Dang, look at that word, obvious, right? So you guys get confused on whether you're that Lord, Lord guy? Just read it. It says right there, it's obvious. If you're doing these things purposely, you know, and you're not in that constant walk of repentance, well then, well then, change it, you know? Do the right thing. Or just do that Lord. Lord, Lord, and hope for the best, huh? Yeah, and That's then you won't be that Lord, Lord. It's obvious. So what did you read in John about John the Baptist? Matthew. Matthew? The about that. A simple nature. Or no, you. In Matthew? Or? No, in John, you read about John told the brood of vipers, what are you doing here? No, he that was in Matthew. Warned you of the coming age. That was in Matthew. No. That was yeah. the beginning of Matthew, but yeah. yeah. What, did, what did he tell him? Is to keep in, uh, keep it doesn't matter to the bear the fruits of the spirit. Yeah, yeah. it was it was exactly that. It oh, was, produce fruit. Yeah, produce fruit and keeping us the way we went here. Mm-hmm. That's one of the most important scriptures in the New Testament to oh, me. Me too, bro. People don't do it. Mm-hmm. Love the you, keeping into in repentance. Keep uh, producing fruit by keeping in repentance. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't produce fruit from from thistles. That's mm-hmm. definitely a booty call. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can't. You can't. Uh, the world is thistles. Mm-hmm. It's not from God. Mm-hmm. You get it? Yeah. And, and these scriptures are for us to oh, to, mute, mute, to, mute, to work on ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know, these aren't these aren't things to point out that what other people are doing. It's, it doesn't matter what other people are doing. Even there's even there's people that go to Jesus and say, "What have, what about these people?" And he says, "Don't worry about those people. You know, work on yourself, bro. You know, like here's a mirror. Ancient dialect is so great, right? Work on yourself, bro. Yeah, right, brother. I tell you." I love it. <laughs> King James over here. <laughs> <laughs> pressure. So, I like how mine says. Go for it. Send um, it. Fifteen. Sure. Uh, right. But if you are always writing and devouring one another, watch out. Beware of destroying one sure, another. Amen. I think right. that's How's the like a stand? reminder to like that for me personally. Like, like if <laughs> somebody pisses oh, yeah. you off, to stay in the fruit because you can. When it says destroy one another, it, oh. like, how can I explain it? Can't that. An argument. Oh. You know you're in the right. This person's yeah, in the wrong, nice you know? Nice. Instead of trying to prove that you're right, so it can lead to you well. sinning, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So exactly. to humble yourself right. and, and just remember the fruits of the Spirit, you know? Right. Amen. Because then you're, you're not even going to realize right. that you got you yeah. were in a trap, you know? Mm-hmm. And you failed. So it's just, for me, it's a reminder, like, beware. You don't participate, you know. Don't indulge in that. Exactly. It's pointless because you're not going to win, you know. Mm-hmm. And you want to win the race. So it's just, that's out of the way, I guess. Right? Yeah. And so let's keep going because it gets better. <laughs> so. I'm not that obvious, right? But yeah. Remember, well, these are obvious I'm going to read 19 obvious, from yeah, the beginning. We're on, we're on the obvious, yeah. So, it says, the acts of the sinful nature are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Right? Let, right. Let's let that sink in for a second, because <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> At least one of those, all of us do. Right? Mm-hmm. Do you understand the full meaning and concept of the kingdom of God there? It's us. It's not. You're acting like that. It's not in here. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. exactly. It's That's not exactly place, what it is. It's not a place we're going to go one day. Mm-hmm. Right. It's here. It's we're not going to be able to hear God if we're doing those things, mm-hmm. and He's not going to be able to change our lives mm-hmm. and make us who He created us to be. It's like Sarah was saying. Like if you're arguing with somebody, you're not in the spirit. You're angry. Exactly. You know. You're, you're not no in that cycle of love. Did you get it, Sarah? What I just said. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're looking all like. Hmm? So oh, look, I, we, I can't see, so I'm looking at everybody the same. <laughs> I, like, I see trees. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, that goes back to the blind man. Yeah. Lay hands on her again and pray harder. Exactly <laughs> where my mind went to, though. <laughs> I didn't say it, Sarah. He did. So, so look. <laughs> Just kidding, my baby. Oh, that's that's her, her kitten. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So, so look, we just went over the, the things that are in the flesh, right? Mm -hmm. And what happens is is we recognize that maybe we do one of these things. And what do we do? We go straight back to the Lord and we go, Lord, forgive me for this thing, mm -hmm. right? That's that keeping, fr bearing fruit, keeping them put, uh, for, in for, step. Yeah. In step of the we're, Spirit. We're, Repentance. Repentance. Yeah, repentance, right? It's, it's the it's the low rest, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm starting to catch up for you. Oh, honey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I'm going to enjoy watching you get done. You'll be looking like Zara. I can't see you. I'm going to So, let's, so when let's you go to that repentance, news. right? Keeping in that in that walk of repentance, the things that we're about to go over the is what news. the fruit the fruit that you're bearing. Yeah, it will be the fruit that you bear. Produce. <laughs> the character you're going to... This is such a bomb study. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when we went this way. Right? <laughs> Same here. This is so awesome. You're in uh, Galatians. Galatians. Yeah. But. Right? Big but. But. <laughs> I have a quick question. Go for it. Oh, uh, okay. So you said being constant repentance. I wrote that down. Uh -huh. um, so you know when it comes to judgment day he sees that we were trying or we he, we're still considered lukewarm yep exactly you got well, it what well. happens with repentance because it, I'm getting kind of um, convicted or... right now <laughs> so I just want to as long so as you're he, trying right he knows when we go to Luke, Luke we'll, when so we go that's to Luke, when he's like okay like, yeah. when we go to Luke we'll see that it'll say strive your hardest right it doesn't say be perfect to enter the narrow gate no right. it says strive your hardest do you guys remember the story of the rich young ruler? Mm -hmm. Jesus told him in Matthew when he told the story. He said, "I've done all." He said, "What must I do to inherit the kingdom of God?" And he said, "He said um, he told him the commandments, you know." And he said, "I've kept those since I was a child, right?" Mm -hmm. And you know what Jesus told him? Well, if you want to be perfect, then do this. You, you see. There's not, there's no way we can be perfect, or he wouldn't have came to die for us. Mm -hmm. But what, 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 what Jacob's telling you is, is that you have to keep in repentance. Look at when you, if you don't get up every day to seek the Lord, then you're gonna get up every day and seek something. Mm -hmm. and that's where the fruit of the death comes from that he read first. You There's see? a reason why it comes first, too. Mm -hmm. Because it's we, meant to convict first, then uplift. Memo talks yeah, about it. Because we're all to be free, no, right? You read it. Convict, then uplift. I love that. Convict, and then uplift. Amen. Because what, what happens, what has to happen, right? If you're trying to clean something, and it's covered, what are you going to do? If you're trying to clean it, you have to remove the thing that's covering it, and show what's all nasty and dirty to be able to clean it. To expose it. Exactly. So he has to convict you, show you what you're doing wrong, mm -hmm. pretty much open that wound, and then he's able to clean it. That's where the uplift comes from, because now he's cleaning it. Because now he's able yeah. to clean it. Because you Cause came before see. the Lord. Exactly. Right. That's what the law came to do. Oh, and know this. <laughs> <laughs> know this, too. God sees your heart. Yeah. God sees your heart, and he knows where your heart's at. He knows, he knows, you know, especially like you get broken, like, man, I can't, I keep doing this, I keep doing, he sees your heart, he hears that, he knows, he knows you're trying, he knows, but um, you also got to turn, you can't, you can't live in it, you can't stay in it, you got to keep trying, but, but he does see your heart, he doesn't, he's <clears throat> not, he's not going to bam you down for your mistakes. He already saw that and knew that and already paid the price for it. We actually not, bam ourselves down by, right. by not getting up. Exactly, because it, eventually it comes Sorry. to a point where you're, no. you're beating yourself down. Yeah. You know, because you're like, well, I've asked for forgiveness like 3,000 times and I just know I'm going to do it again, so I'm just not going to go to the Lord. Because that's what happens. What you, mistake? you know? And that's it, the devil putting that in That's the right. Christian's biggest mistake is not getting up. That's your biggest downfall. That's the only thing that is going to hinder your walk the most. And God, if you yeah. decide in your mind that you're not worthy or that you just, God's not going to forgive you because you asked for forgiveness for the same thing a hundred thousand times. And God's mm -hmm. like, I seen, I seen, I seen that you're going to do it 3,001 times. Come on, we got one more to go. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then we're past this. Yeah, <laughs> go back to he knows. Um, producing fruit mm -hmm. 
in right. keeping with repentance. In keeping with repentance. You can't, you can't do it without without keeping in repentance. You get mm -hmm. it? And what, but, the, but the whole like, concept of that is, is that the more I seek the Lord in it, the more I stay with Him in, hum in humility, even though it's still happening, mm -hmm. I know He's one eventually going to remove that because He's going to replace it with a piece of Himself. Right. That's yeah. the fruit. The now, fruit of the Spirit that He's coming let's into. Let's get it. That goes the line. And if you keep fighting and trying to fight this stuff off, you're or probably going to lose. Where we can you, need like to, you need to you need to fight to spend the time with okay. Him. And fight to seek good. him, See, and just, just keep like, on and keep that. on and keep on, and pretty soon he removes these things from you. Yeah, you can't do it yourself because all you you'll do, even if you stop doing it, you'll just trade it for something else. Mm -hmm. Let him trade it for a piece of who he is. Yeah, with one of the things that we're about to read, right? Mm -hmm. It says with all the things we're about to read. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it says all of them. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such thing, there is no law. Oh, dude, that's oh. right there. Oh, oh, oh. The self-control part right there, did you catch that? Oh, yeah, I caught it. A lot of people try to do that themselves because it says self-control. No, you have to let him give you all that character so that he gives you self-control <laughs> over it. You guys know who Martin Luther is? Did you hear what I said? Because it's important. Okay, yes. Go ahead. You guys know who Martin Luther is? Is his last name King? No. <laughs> Martin Luther. He lived in like the 1600s. I, think it was. I feel like I've heard it before. The, the reformist. Oh, yeah, the reformist. Started the Lutheran church. Right. Mm -hmm. Before. Broke away from the Catholic church. Before he would like, he, he would, uh, he would try and keep self-control, right? And he would like whip, he would whip himself because he would sin. Mm -hmm. And then he read the book of Romans. And when you read the book of Romans, you go, whoa, this is not what I thought it was, <laughs> right? And then was a guy who reformed the church mm -hmm. uh, because before um, it was it was doing such things that weren't in the in the scripture. Mm -hmm. So he goes up and posts 99 tenants inside of, on, on, the, on the front That's door, right. gets uh, excommunicated from the Roman right. Catholic Church uh -huh. and uh, starts the Lutheran Church. Right, um, mm -hmm. which reformed Christianity as a whole, which led us to. So I started out with, in the Lutheran Church. Oh, yeah, so which Jesus. which led us to a lot of the things that we have in abundance today, right? Like the education system that was from the reformist mm -hmm. uh, side of church. Like they invented education for us to read the Bible because before that they did, weren't educated to read their Bible. They had someone read it for them mm -hmm. and tell them how it was interpreted instead of going to the Lord, right? The mm -hmm. Word. I told your daddy that the our the 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 uh, Theopolis. I told your daddy that Theopolis, because he's a school teacher, you know. Yeah, and and so when we we take the word okay. and we take it out of context, yeah. we'll end up whipping ourselves mm -hmm. instead of. It's uh, exactly what I was just going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my okay. psyche. Yeah. I love it. Well, that's the spirit then. <laughs> so the, so the, the way that the, the fruits of the spirit are listed are in the same sense that the the fruits of the flesh are listed then, right? Right. Like in the context of it exactly. being first in the battle, and then you only gain self-control after receiving the rest. Yeah, I understand. It's not it's it's not something you achieve. It's something mm -hmm. he achieves in you. Right. Cody, well, Cody you, says, ask him when I'm going to get self-control from God. <laughs> You and actually said it when, 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 when you when you follow all the other fruits, yes, then the self control. <laughs> <comes>. <laughs> so you gotta follow the 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 love, joy, peace, patience, goodness. Uh, kindness, kindness faithfulness, faithfulness, gentleness, and then the, the self-control. Control. And if you look, by the way, this was something that the Lord had showed me when I was reading this. There's two things though, but this is the first one. Was a. Uh, <laughs> Each one of these fruits of the spirit battle the other fruit, mm -hmm. like directly. Say it again. So each one of the fruits of the spirit directly battle the fruit of the sinful nature. So if you look back, love, sexual impurity. Mm. Yeah, make the list and they literally... Exactly. If you directly make the list and put them together, 
and look at it directly at each other. It's battling each other. It it says, sure it's like a pros, cons, boom, boom, yes. Yeah. Exactly. And so, and that's why it's, they're both stated in the, the ways they are because it's showing you those two things. So yeah. if you struggle with some of those things, pray for those, pray for those fruits of the spirits that, that's battling the other end of it. Exactly. That's something that I was showing. Your fruit is in my prayers every day. I think you would, and mine for the patients, mine says long suffering. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same thing. It's both, both. They both hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to rejoice in suffering. Yeah. 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 They both what is, hurt. What is patience? When you're learning patience, you are suffering long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, never it's like, oh, come on, move out of my way. Come We've on, all educated that on. one, right? The Lord's always I like, so. I always laugh at my patients that I've learned. Tell me what happens. Because it's always like at the last second I give up, and then like immediately after it's like, oh, dude, if you just waited another second. Yeah. Yeah. Just waited one more second. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> And I, like after like six times of doing that, I'm like, all right, now you're just playing with me, Lord. Yeah, right. <laughs> so now I get it, I get it. I'll put the cap on. <laughs> now let's end off this uh, section real quick. It says, "Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not be conceited, provoking and envying each other." Hmm. Now, do you think you have time to read? Hmm? Wait, read that part again? Yeah. What the one, the whole 2014 yeah. Well, my name on it. Time is just a construct. We're already in trouble. We're thinking to go to this. Yeah. We've been baptized. <laughs> Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not be conceited, not become conceited provoking and envying each other. You see verse 24, it says, those who belong to, to Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the fruits of the Spirit come through a relationship with Him. So those of us who have that relationship with Him, let's keep in step with that so that we don't fall back into those other things. That's mm-hmm. the key. That's mm-hmm. the key thing. That's the self-control part. Oh, back to Matthew. <laughs> That's why. Why do you think? Why do you think uh, Jesus went to get baptized? Amen. I think he's gonna be on a baby high for a while. Yeah, I think that's what it is. This is a baby baby. high. This is a baby. (laughs) We're loving it. Hopefully, it's until they finish their masters. So. Okay, before you do that, 11 minutes, get your prayers in, get your prayers in. 11 yeah, so then it's a fact to okay. Luke, we're going to read about Luke, the narrow door. Luke 7? Okay, Luke 7? Luke no, 13. 13. 13. 13. I'm sorry. It was 13, 12. Yeah. Like yep. The narrow door. Same thing. Gate door. Window. I don't think windows the same as the gate and door. Can be. It's those who try to enter through the window. Yeah, I know. <laughs> try to sneak their it's way a, into the yeah. thing, right? Isn't that one of the Yeah. <laughs> they try and sneak yeah. their way in without following the Savior. Go to 10? Yeah, yeah, no, chapter shepherd. 10 is that story. Oh, the shepherds. The so Luke 13. It's 10 or 22. Or what did you say? No, no, no. 13, oh, okay. 13, 13, 12. 12. 22. You're right. You're right. Oh, yeah, 13, 12. These guys led me astray. Well, Sorry, you're right. And we'll do that. 13, 22. <laughs> 22. 22. 22. 12 made no sense. Number 13, 22. I'm sorry. Okay. I disagreed. Make it great. Yeah. You just said, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Go with that one. I disagree. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. You know what? You said 13, I'm in the right place, but I can't read it. I can't see the He's little line. Number. The blind is leading the He sees trees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Verse 22, right? Everyone there? It says, Then Jesus, said, Jesus went through the towns and the villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? But look at this, bro. Only a few. He's worried about other people. Not himself, right? Amen. Right. Let's see how Jesus answers this one. Make every effort to enter through the narrow door, because many, I tell you, will try to enter and not be able to. And how does he answer that? He says, "Don't worry about other people. Focus on yourself, bro." <laughs> right? 
That's exactly how I said it back then. Too. Yeah, that's the Bro. ancient dialect, you know. <laughs> and, the, and the bomb. You know and the bomb. And then they got their bomb. secret handshake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so verse 25 it says, Once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you will stand outside knocking and pleading, Sir, open the door for us. But he will answer, I don't know you or where you come from. Then you will say, We ate and drank with you. You taught in our streets. But he will reply, I don't know you or where you come from. Away from me, you evil doers. There will be weeping there and gnashing of teeth. When you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves thrown out, people will come from the east and west, north and south, and will take their places at the feast of the kingdom of God. Talking about the back from there. Mm-hmm. Indeed, there are those who are indeed those who are last who will be first, and the first who will be last. So you see that, like, when when you read the the scripture, that's scary. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you get convicted by it, and you're like, whoa, you know, anything break. <laughs> Come back to it. You know, dig deep, mm-hmm. dig super deep, because then you will understand that. Oh, this sounds scary, but it's like, oh, well, this is. Very obvious. Yeah. Right? Like we read, mm-hmm. the fruits of the flesh are very obvious, right? And mm-hmm. and we know how to we know how to produce fruit by keeping in repentance. You see, like um, so when you break down it, it's more of an encouragement when mm-hmm. you when you dive deeper into it instead of like because a lot of people do, like like for instance, my wife reads this and it scares her to death, right? And I keep trying to tell her, and I keep trying to tell her, and one day the Lord, the Lord will show her. Mm-hmm. Right. Not to fear it. Yeah, not to fear right. it. Fear no, not. And I think everybody is afraid when yeah. you first start reading. Yeah, of course. It's healthy. Yeah. Well, that, that's the that's, that's the Holy Spirit the trying spirit. to wake you up. Like, hey, look, pay They're attention. Not, yeah. You know, pay attention here. Check this out. All all the prophets. Jesus said, "All the prophets are killed. You know, they were they were all they were all rejected and killed, right? It was terrible. And they right? were speaking they were speaking the word of God. You know, and and it's, uh, and we just read um, when you see Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves thrown out. Think of what are we? So you sad. know, we're given a word of God and we're speaking. We're supposed to speak it." Are we not? Are we not prophets in a sense? Mm-hmm. Well, that's what he's getting at. If you're out there speaking the word of God, if you're out there teaching people, and they're, and they're rejecting you, don't sweat it. They rejected Christ. Yeah, they're not Just rejecting keep you doing it. Christ. Just keep doing it. You know, you don't jam it down people's throat, but you do it in love. You, yeah, you do preach, it. preach, preach, and then when you have to, you speak. Yeah, your life. Amen. You know what this reminds me of is Noah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all those people making fun of him for all those years of building this ship. It was like um, hundred hundred years. Yeah. Like, like that, he was right? a crazy man. Here's your white jacket. And then the water came, and the and and water time. I love that movie. Who built a boat in the desert? Let me in. Let me in. I would imagine. Mm-hmm. That, I would imagine that ship was filled with people that couldn't get in after the rain started coming. And open the door, but they all chose that, right? And the and the Bible says that Noah was the only righteous one. Man, you know, so he was this righteous man, you know, amongst all these people. Mm-hmm. So look, became so corrupt. <clears throat> so what we're getting at is that you need to read the first red line of verses again. The first line of the verse again. Make that's, every effort. There, that's what you're talking to, about. To enter through the narrow door, right? If the Lord knows your heart, and in your heart you are trying, you're in, bro. Mm-hmm. You're That's in. Exactly what he That's said. It. You're in. Make every effort. Make, make mm-hmm. every effort because He knows your heart. So if you're trying, mm-hmm. you're in. Because the whole Bible tells us that. Well, John says it like this: that we make God out to be a liar if we say that we're without sin. Mm-hmm. And and what he means by that is is that if we if it was if we were capable of getting there on our own, you know, mm-hmm. through our purity, right. then, yeah, then God would have never sent his son. Yeah. And by yeah. us saying that we are capable, we're saying that God is a liar because mm-hmm. he sent his son to die for our sins because we weren't capable. But let every man be a liar and God be true. Amen. So, 
So what that's saying is, is that we're not perfect, not, not one of us. Not one of us deserve to enter his kingdom. Not one of us deserve to spend eternity with him. But but the righteous one covers us. Wretched man am I, who Amen. Mm -hmm. Producing fruit and keeping with repentance. You know, a, a Christian's biggest sin is bringing up the stuff they did over and over and over again, even if they're not doing it anymore because they feel guilty. I think there's actually a psalm that says you keep bringing up yeah. uh, what I've, you keep reminding me of what you uh, what I've already forgotten. Or yeah. something like God's that. like, what are you talking about? I already <laughs> forgave that. Mm -hmm. But it, it draws us so. back to it over and over again instead of just forgetting it, letting it go, and following Him. Amen. That's where the fruit comes in. Mm -hmm. So. Interesting. How come I don't get any of those? <laughs> oh, thank you. What color do you want? You oh, have that because you Patience. asked not. <laughs> hey, Daniel, you your yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, hi, Daniel. Okay, we have a corner. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I got no money. I can get you a trailer we can park back here if you want to start servicing these homeless. We can just put a trailer back there, it's free. And what's it for? Help with the homeless? No, but what's it for, the trailer? It's just a trailer that needs somebody wants off their lot. I know, but tell me what you're talking about. Then we can park it right here, and we can service this homeless instead of coming out of that wash, and what am I else? She's separate. saying give them a home that they can Separate them from their issues. Oh. It's easier to try. Yeah. It's over in David's yard. Yeah, no, I've seen it, yeah. <laughs> Before they destroy it, that's the same for it. If somebody just sits there and it, live from it. Well, talk to Pastor Matt, we could probably use that down there with our new mission. So, I hear you. You're good. It was important. You had to get it out. Um, I could have waited 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> well, plus the prayer. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Where are we? Well, we just finished the narrow. Yeah, oh, we finished it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to... Um, I think Were we're you not paying ahead. attention? Mm -hmm. no? He's sleeping. Let him sleep, please. He's out of it because of the dentist. Well. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could have done it. No, this please is not about that. It takes me a bit, though. I bet you that's what it actually is. Maybe so. So, so now that we've gone over it, mm -hmm. right? We're, we're no longer scared of this passive, right? It's real easy, and real, un real like uplifting, right? Hey, we're striving. We're there, mm -hmm. right? Or do you guys still see the scary part of it? I, I have lines right here. Go for it. If you can break it down. That's so, our um, thirty mind says, um, and note this. Some who seem least important now will be the greatest then, and some who are the greatest now will be least important then. Okay. Oh, oh, break this down. That's beautiful, sister. Break it down. Yeah. Break it down. That is the better one. See, yeah, this is a little harder. When you figure it out and you walk it logically through, you're just like, wow, that is so simple. Yeah. <laughs> it's everything we've been talking about tonight. It's like, we don't want to be. Uh, ridiculed in the world or with our family or friends or this or that but when we stay humble in the Lord we stay faithful to Christ no matter what anybody's saying or doing no matter how they come against us amen in the end we're going to be the, the humble that we're last in the world but first in Christ you understand because we're because we're representing him and we're living for him regardless of what the world's doing, because there's power in living for the Lord. Remember we talked about that. Mm -hmm. But there's no power in, in saying you're a Christian and living in the world. Yeah. Right? The power of God is the, is the very essence that drives people to Christ. And that's us living in Christ, displaying Him. People think, oh, that's so pitiful. You know, or, oh, you're so beneath other people, or you're this or you're that. It's not true. It's the strength of God. Yeah. It's the power of God that moves the heart. So it's the very thing that brought all of us here, right? And so when we live, the, when we live the least in the world, we become the greatest in Him. Get it? What's the word you just used to, to, you know, to get closer to God? How did you say that? I have no idea. 
because I, I always switch it in my head. I always go with, you know, people I'm trying to talk to is without scaring them with the God Squad. <laughs> um, <laughs> people are freaks out there. Um, is worker, working. He wants workers. Always working. Always putting it back. Working because Jesus was a carpenter. He worked. He worked the whole time for us. He worked. That's what I, I use working. But you use a different word all the time. I don't know. That's good because it just comes out then just perfect. <laughs> but I like the way hers read it because it, it yeah, actually yeah. brought it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, mine says the. Last one first, first one. Yeah, mine yeah, says. Um, and the, and indeed, there there are those who are last who will be first, and first who will be last. See, the, the, the world is the opposite of God. You know, they see things in a hierarchy. And right. God is the opposite of the world. He said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways are not your ways. But then he says, but you and I who trust him and follow him and are obedient to him, we have the mind of, we, he gives us his mind, his, his, the mind of Christ. And that's the fruit of the Spirit that we receive by keeping in repentance. You get it? And, um, oh boy, the so, world doesn't understand it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so we pay the price for that in this world, but only to those who aren't going to listen. Mm -hmm. But it's the power of God when we humble ourselves in Christ to live in Christ the way we're supposed to in this world. Mm -hmm. See, we may be the least of everything in this world because they think they're, they're above us. When in Christ, we're oh. taking his favor. I know exactly how to explain Go ahead. the parable of the talents. There's one. The, that the one, uh, the, the other one was... Sorry, I was thinking of the one, the workers. They all get paid the same. Mm -hmm. In the vineyard, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's the one I was thinking of. That actually talent, explains but... it differently, though. That explains it... but Because the, the... they came in they came in last minute and we're still saved. That explains it a little different than what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. the same. New rules. It's the same, but it's... it's it doesn't matter when you get yeah, on board. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's you know what I mean. Yeah, sport. yeah, but your reward is still the same. Mm -hmm. that, that's what we I was. Need, that's what he's five getting. Five minutes yeah. to talk, not All ten hours. Like, uh, the kidding. way this is written is the first shall be last, the last shall be first. He wasn't so the first or last. Wait, wait, he's not really talking here. Really what really you're saying, he's not saying that here. He's not saying that because I chose last. No, that's not what he's saying. No, he's talking about our 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 place. Yeah. Our right. place in this right. world is not in, in the world anymore. Right. Right. You get it? Are you Our place is in heaven with him, even though we're still here. Yeah, I, th I think we're on the same page. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> we're on the same page. We're, <laughs> we're trying to... Yeah. Just wording so, it different? <laughs> no, so because the story is... This is a different English class. No, the story is, is that somebody hires somebody in the morning, right? A group of people. <laughs> and then he figures, I'm not going to get this done in time, so he hires people in the afternoon. I'm not going to get this done in time, so he hires people at the end of the day. Each one of them got the same pay. But at the end of the day, the first ones are saying, hey, he's going to obviously pay us more because they came in last and he paid them more. He paid them the same. And he's like, you guys agreed to do this at this price. Mm -hmm. Who are you to tell me how I'm supposed to spend my money? Right? Who am I, how I'm going to pay somebody mm -hmm. is the story. So it is the same, but in, the, in a sense, but uh, it's not a time thing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a place. Yeah, we were we were focusing more on the reward. Mm -hmm. The reward's the same. The reward's the same. The other thing I was thinking of was their uh, their mindset of it. Yeah, it was because the guys were first. They were they were thinking of themselves higher. You exactly. they're going to get more. That might be good too. And so the last one, because that's a worldly, they came in last, that's a worldly point of view. Mm -hmm. No, that's exactly. I would. That's and like that's looking at, at other Christians and being like, yeah, oh, that's very good. How are they getting that, along so cool, so I'll, greatly? Right? Yeah, yeah, I'll got, so when you look at that uh, story, the parable of the workers, right? He hired all these workers, like Matt said, one in the morning, one at the evening, and one in the later in the day. And it was all to get the same work done. All of them agreed for the same pay. And so, but the first ones were thinking, oh, I'm going to get more. So they were give themselves hours. higher, right? And of course, the last ones, that you know what they're thinking. They're thinking, oh, they work I'm going to get one hour, so it's probably going to be less than what the first one paid, but it's still money. Mm -hmm. And they all get the same pay. They all and so the, the first one, they're like, heaven. what? 
Why why we get the same pay? Well, you agreed to that pay. Mm -hmm. I think of the prodigal son another way too. The same exact thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, you know, the uh, brother in the field. Right, and then when the feast is going on, the other brother that's been there the whole time is like, well, "How come this is?" And he's like, "You already have everything. What are you complaining yeah. about?" Mm -hmm. Right? It's the the first who are last, right? So if you're yeah. first and you're considered last, right, and then the last are considered first, aren't they the same thing? Right, it equals out the playing field. It's just right. I was going to say, field. there's no hierarchy. We're all and, equal and, to one and another. And who had it better? The person, the the son that stayed, he had the life. Right. Mm -hmm. The son that left, he was out in the world. Look, the sooner we accept Christ, the better we can have it right here, right now. Heaven isn't something we're waiting for. To the, till something we die, we yeah. something we can live right here, right now, yeah. and and it can carry through, carry us through the hard times, carry us through these bad situations. And we, we all don't have to wait. Hey. But keeping it in context here, though, it says the last. Get yeah. it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh, good luck, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> he loves my city. It says, it, in keeping it in context, though, he's talking about. I get what he's talking about. I know what you're. It says, "Then you will say, uh, we ate with you. We we did this with you. We did that with you, right?" Uh, but he will re he will reply, "I do not know you. I love this part or where you come from. See, because that's the world. Mm -hmm. Jesus doesn't know the ways of of man in the world without him. He's he doesn't he. It's not that he doesn't know him. He just doesn't he's know not him. Deal with mm -hmm. him. He doesn't acknowledge it. He doesn't acknowledge it." doesn't exist mm -hmm. and so you got to keep it in the context see he's talking to people that are saying one thing and doing another mm -hmm. okay because they want to keep up with everybody in the world they want to be like everybody here they don't want to be mocked they don't want to do this they don't want to do that they want to receive everything the world wants to give them you get it and then you have the person who um, who no matter what the world's doing is going to humble himself in Christ mm -hmm. and he's going to love the Lord and he's going to love people in the Lord amen even if he's the least of everybody. Mm -hmm. You can see the beauty of it? And that's 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 the context of the scripture is is there's gonna be um what is it, start in twenty nine. People will come uh, from here, there, and everywhere and will take their place at the feast in the kingdom of God. Indeed, there are those who are last who will be first, and first who will be last. So he's talking about them, some of them that will miss the game mm -hmm. because they were living in the world even though they knew the truth. They weren't living in the truth, which means they never accepted Christ. And they were waiting for the 11th hour, but he came at 1030. They were, they were five Persians without <laughs> yeah. the spirit. They, 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 yeah. saw the, they saw the word as in hierarchy instead yeah. of the way that it is. Five. Right. They saw it through the world's eyes. Right, that the worldly eyes. lens. And, they, and so... If they saw it through the world's eyes and they lived it through the world's eyes, then did they know Christ? Mm -hmm. He said, get away from me. I don't know you. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where you're from. Yeah. None, none of this is from me. Yeah. I know true. not this. But I ate with you and I drank with you. No, you ate and drank with yourself. Yeah. Or the world. Just imagine what that person is thinking. Like, what? <laughs> no, you know what huh? the truth is? You I think they know in their heart. There you go. You want to know what the truth is? They know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The there Pharisees knew. Just like the the ten so virgins, they, they all had they all had lambs. They all they all had a knowledge of Christ, but only only five of them had the oil. Only five of them had the relationship. The other five didn't have a relationship. And, and what did he and tell them? The door closed. What did he tell them? Hurry on the door. Give us some of your oil. Oh, we can't do that. But go buy some oil and come and catch up because they were buying into the world the whole time. Right. They're worried about. They're worried about what the world thinks of them instead of what God thinks of them. That's what they're worried about. See, that's being last. And then they knocked on the door. Don't, don't even care what the world thinks. You think the world cares what you think? No. No, they're going to overpower you, yell and scream from the mountaintops what they believe. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be their time. truth, even though they know the truth. It's all rebellion. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's live in the truth, right? And let's share the truth no matter what. Amen. We may be last now. But I think when we become first, you know what I think is going to be cool about it? Because we're equal. Yeah, Nobody's ahead of anybody. Part. But I think when we become first, you know what you know what that becoming first is? Is God revealing all the times 
that we lived in him and we woke people up to his truth. Mm. It's all those people got to come with us because we planted those seeds. Amen? I believe that. I'm going to sit at the welcome table. I'm going to sit at the welcome table. <laughs> But, it's in the, that movie on um, Angel Studios, the After Death one. Oh, is it? Yeah, they talk about that. Yeah, they talk about how God reveals to them, like, how one bad choice led to, like, 50 people making bad choices. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a how, movie or a show? Yeah, yeah it's like it's a documentary a about it's, what people, it's exactly uh, like what? Dying and then seeing what they saw when they die and then came back. So I'm seeing heavenly journeys in hell. Or yeah, kind of yeah. weird, dude. Yeah, and they talk about how like God revealed to them, well, like, oh, when you like decided to do this for me, it's like, this is how many people are reached and stuff. Like, it's crazy, dude. <laughs> that whole documentary is insane. Yeah, I think that's real. That's exactly the thing that happened. Call that part of your judgment, right? Caught. Well, that's what the treasures in heaven is, right? Yeah. It's, not, it's not these worldly things mm-hmm. that burn away after a certain amount of fire. Because what's left is the soul. Yeah. Right. So it's going to be the people. Can I use you? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess this is kind of a play on what, really what, used? what you were saying, how Pastor Matt, <laughs> about the donkey. Okay. Like kind of what we're talking about. Like you were saying the donkey okay. must have felt great that day. Like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at me. I thought everybody was throwing bottom. their cloaks and their palm branches in front of me. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Never been read it before. Oh. <laughs> no, that's us tripping. Hey, yeah. That's why I made that joke. And then he tripped. No more pats on the back. Nah. Pat, man. No more pats on the back. All right. Prayers, prayers, prayers. How's it going? I have a prayer request. Great to see you. And a praise. So, I felt like Jacob so. when I did that. <laughs> um. So I have a cousin, and she's Sorry, been lesbian like her whole life. And for some reason, I just been having it in my heart to contact my family members that I normally don't, you know, keep oh, yeah, contact with and song. stuff. And so I texted her yesterday, and she told me that well, she's her and her wife, she's married, um, are getting divorced. So we're texting and stuff. And wait, wait, wait. Say it one more time, please. I, she's I think mar- she's lesbian. Oh, okay. Now it makes married. sense. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting a divorce. <laughs> 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 well, over, is it? Go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm on the right page. And um, I'm driving down So I'm telling her, like, you know how she's doing about that? You know how divorce goes to the cell in the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then she makes a comment and she says, you know, I used to think that I needed. Um, I always needed someone to have someone, you know? But what I realize now is that this time I'm going to pick God first. Amen. And she's been lesbian like her oh. whole entire life. Like that's all I remember her being, you know, me growing up. And right now she says the past six months she's been more connected with God. And, you know, I feel like God has a plan for her, you know, mm-hmm. and she made a mistake. And so the wife decided to divorce her. And I believe, like it was, it's part of the plan. And now that she's seeking God, I hope she continues to to have that, you know. Really puts him first. Yeah, yeah. and she, it sounds like she has, you know, like she's she's working on it. She, and then um, she's going to Bible study now. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I just pray that you know God just finds her true light, you know, and that it's, she stays connected to God. It's a beautiful. And, and that's thing. my praise, you know, because yeah. she found God, and yeah. and that's where it starts, you know. Rather, mm-hmm. you know, I I know God is gonna. How can I say it? Mm, replace that sin, you know, mm-hmm. and she's not gonna want that no more. And I pray for that. So to me, it's like I want to keep her in prayer. Yeah. And then I also want to praise it because it made me happy to know that she mm-hmm. found God, you know. And then she told me that my other cousin, uh, Christopher. He got baptized and he's been doing good. And I got to speak to him today, and he just seemed so excited, like cousin. Wow. And I was like, oh my goodness, because it just felt so right, you know. So I, I praise that God is working with my family, even though they're not here with me, you know. Yeah. And um, it's just good to know that they're finding the truth. You know? It's it's huge because. It, it's not us to beat these people down and tell them, this is wrong, this is a sin. Mm-hmm. It's not our place. 
Our place is to point them to Jesus. And when they spend time with him, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, starts showing them. And then their lives are changing because of that. Her her cousins are sitting at a Bible study saying how blessed they are because their cousin's getting right. And you know what? Let me tell you this. So my cousin, her name is Angela. She said that when she seen my cousin Christopher, she's like, on a funny note, he didn't even know how to read. But when he's reading his Bible, he's like a whole new man. And wow. when I seen him transfer to a different man, she said, I wanted that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, we talk about that in Bible studies all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? And I'm like, okay, that's because he's li- living in his fruit. Really you know? <laughs> he's living in the fruit of the Spirit. And she sees that and she acknowledges that. And now she craves that and wants that. Amen. And because of that, she started, you know, having her connection with God. And I'm mm-hmm. like, man, you know, like... Mm-hmm. And That's me personally going about. through my thing and like me trying to have Chris on board and, and you know, him want me wanting him to have a connection with God. I'm like, you know what? And like you said, worry about yourself, bro. You know, <laughs> and I'm like, I need to worry about myself and I need to live in the spirit so that way my family can see and then they want it. You know? yeah. And we see we talk about it all the time, but for some reason today and just seeing hearing my cousin and her telling me, I'm like, Oh man, this is these are facts here, wow, you know? Yeah. And it just hit me different. So. It's so real. So God, we're we're back. And it's crazy because I've been like, I need help with my self control. I need help with my self control. A lot. Of, I'm so kind to everyone. I can be cool, you know. But for some reason, my spouse, I'm tripping. <laughs> you know, and that's and that's the truth. And, and then we go over this, and I'm like, okay. So I need to do these in order to fix this last one. Right. And this is the one that I need. I'm right. like, I know how to love. I give you joy. But am so I really, control. you know? So I'm going to work on this so I can fix this last one right, right. here. Amen. You know? Yeah. But that's Amen, it. Sister. That's the blessing right that's there. That's so yeah. funny. Today's my, my little sister's been an alcoholic almost her whole life, to be honest with you. I mean, like, by 10 in the morning, she's plastered, you know? And... Um, my dad just praying and praying and praying gave his life to the lord praying and praying and praying because he got real sick thought he was going to die and didn't want to leave his kids like that just praying and praying and praying and praying and asking me to pray ask me to come talk to her god still has me here for a reason god still has me here for a reason my sister's been sober for two months and going to church with him amen Amen. is that amazing like an impossible you know yeah i know he went with me a few times You know, amazing. And that's that's what I that's and I kept telling him, you have to display Christ, not your own self. You have to let God work in you, and it's true. Amen. What happened? He was saying, "Were you following me?" I was following you. No, I knew. I knew that eventually, like like if if I lived there, you know. Um, It would be different, just like my dad came to know, you know, or whatever. And I didn't even live there, but, you know, just from watching your life. My dad's words were, I've been watching your life for years. You know, at first he wanted me to fall so that I could go back and hang with him doing doing what we used to do. But then he started going, hey, this guy's not going to fall. Hey, this is happening. Hey, that's happening. Next thing you know, he's turning his life. And then he realized that's what he, you know, and he started praying, praying, and praying for my siblings. And what an amazing thing. And that's what you see. Amen. That's being le- the le- that's being last here. <laughs> see, but there's fruit from it. Amen. And then I'll just pray for myself. You know, I just want to win the race. Amen. You know, I want to get there already. Oh, sister. <laughs> when you're my age, you're going to say the same thing. <laughs> I'm serious. In right? my age. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't hear? Uh-uh, I didn't hear. I'm sorry. Say it again. I think I'm the oldest one here. I, I said, don't know how. Just pray for me because is, I just um, I just want to win the race. You know, I want yeah. to get there. Already. Oh, like how Paul talks about yeah. it. I told her when she's my age, she's gonna be saying the same thing. Yeah, because that's what God is. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, never gonna give up on us, so he's always gonna be working to change us. In, in, in First Timothy, right, you hear that, Cody? Yep. Cody. You're going all red lines. In First Timothy. Um, he says to fight the good fight of faith, mm-hmm. and that's the, it's a, it's that it's it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, and that's that race. Is if you get through that marathon, it's your whole life keeping in step with faith. 
Well, we just read it, keeping it separate the spirit. Any other prayer requests? We got off guard. I mean, off guard. We got off um, track. Do you see anything? So, we. We might have a job for Chris. Um, Praise God. Uh, his background. So I just hope, you know, they still work with him. Normally, they, they just shut him down, but this one they want to take him to orientation and stuff. So mm. I just God. hope it goes through. Does he like working with his hands? I, he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of like construction trades mm -hmm. take felons and all kinds of stuff. So. And so if he likes working with his hands, whether it's drywall, whether it's framing, whether it's electrical, mm -hmm. um, if he goes the route of construction, uh, they're always, they're always, um, they'll work with They'll you. take yeah. the up for upfront honesty. Yeah. Because a lot of people change their life. Like I've worked alongside murderers and stuff like that. And um, getting into that trade has changed their life, you know, so if he's really looking for like a good job and. Uh, like a set retirement coming out of where he came from. Construction is always a good route for if you have a felony. And like, like what places though? Like uh, it, you can go to the union halls. Um, um, like uh, I, I work for the local U four seven seven. Local twelve probably be real interesting too. Yeah, look, um, four seven seven is the electrical trade, and they have CWs, and it's it's bottom of the totem pole, but. If he's real serious about it, he really ends up liking it. He can Work go all the way, way to the top really well. if he's if he's into it, you There's know. And that's like really the top is like sixty dollars an hour, you know. In any place you see construction going on, you know, framing, housing going on. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go with him. Where's it at? <laughs> the local law. Send me. He wants to go just to reach. <laughs> you know Matt. He'll be telling him what to do and he'll be preaching to him as they do it. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> and Steven's like, dude, we better start working. We've been spending hours talking. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, and I'm paying him for this. <laughs> I'm, trying to, keep, I'm trying to keep your pocket in check. What, what he's really thinking is, dude, you're on to me. <laughs> that one. And he'd be like, yeah, just go move that over there real quick. And I'd look back and he's like, okay, so anyways. And I'm like. <laughs> you come my way, I'll play uh, a You can fix that. Uh, yeah, and meals. Hey, construction is a great place. Like wherever you're at in the world, whether you're like the richest man in the world or whether you're at the bottom of the totem pole, like construction is always an easy way to uh, change, your, change your lifestyle, your class, whatever. Because... A lot of people don't like to work hard with their hands. Yeah, 27 bucks an hour just to hold a stop sign going, slow, stop, slow, stop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Imagine that conflict. I couldn't have stop sign, I'll do it. See, <laughs> you see this thing, structure going that. up, You're and you go, of, I did it. I, I couldn't stand there all day. Yeah, it, it's a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. That's harder than working. <laughs> like it teaches you a whole new outlook. <laughs> Pretending not to work is harder than work. <laughs> Yeah, that's, it takes more effort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, what was your other cousin's name? I know Christopher was the other one. Uh, Angela. Angela. Mm -hmm. This will be easy. Hopefully. Not that easy that's for me. Oh, you. and uh, Mary. Mary's been having her mind in since Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she wasn't here Sunday or <clears throat> or today, so I knew she was still on her headache. She's right here. She's putting prayers on. Yeah. Prayers for Karen and Denise and for Tina too. Mm -hmm. And any other prayer requests? No. You're good. Mm -hmm. I was praying for Dan. Who lied? Who lied to you? The Lord keeps me in his life. He keeps me in church and you know, uh, doesn't uh, allow me to step or. or I hurt myself or fall, fall in the wrong uh, situation. We do that for you yeah. every prayer, so we are good. <laughs> we'll keep you in prayer anyway. <laughs> Helps you. <laughs> she, 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 she just closed her eyes when I started doing that. <laughs> Throw the ball at her. We should hold hands. Can you make it? Another one. <laughs> Got to hit Daniel on the way. Don't hit Daniel. Yeah, Don't remember. Daniel. Hey, why are you 
<laughs> problems. You need glasses more than I do. Right. That's perfect. Again! <laughs> My lack of organized sports. She didn't even <laughs> Anyway. Stick to preaching. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Right? Oh. All right. No other prayers? Yeah, prayers? You got prayers? Right? My, uh, MRI See? Is tomorrow. This is why I kept asking. There was more prayers. No, that's a good one. I said, I can hear you. His MRI is MRI tomorrow. tomorrow. He gets them every six months of uh, follow up. Uh, they recheck his brain for to see if it's there. I mean, cancer. <laughs> Did they find a brain last time? Yeah. Oh, wow. I got pictures of it, I know. It's there. <laughs> this is family. I would do the same to my son. Be like, Look, it's there. I know it is. I saw it. <laughs> Prove it. I got proof. I got pictures. You know, they say um, five years uh, the side. With uh, the it's new grow back and then they the step that we're awesome. taking, um, there you. are a couple things like that Allie and I are struggling with. In the in that prayer room, like, um, like the long suffering to keep at it to get better at those things, because um, there's like certain things that are. Are you praying for patience? No, it is. <laughs> he's trying to make sure. So he's avoiding that. Uh, I know he was trying, trying to. Like, like, it's like, it's a long way around. It's the. Uh, well, there's just certain aspects of like the parenting that. That we didn't think about, and just um, that we thought would just that. that would just be natural, and they're not that. They're yeah, because it's your first baby. Yeah, now your so, second one will be yeah. just, so, just fine. Oh, he's okay. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> there, there's some know, things that we're struggling with, and uh, like if you remember, so you're asking for if you're stressed out, your baby's gonna be stressed yeah. out. Right? Yeah, that's true. So try to relax. Yes, yeah. yeah. she is breastfeeding. Yeah, she is breastfeeding. I'm yeah. gonna give you a business card too. Talk to somebody anytime she wants privately. Okay. My, do- my daughter is a little bit serious. Oh, yeah. on, on, nationally, yeah. the, 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 huh? the child protective service, Kentucky, but she's fine with that all still 24 7. Right. So, see, there is. Right. Yeah, so like those things, right? <laughs> that I did. Like you show everybody. So, yeah. You guys, see? see? Remember, <laughs> you gotta remember too, it's okay because your first baby, learn as you go. And you don't get yeah. a manual. Right. This is Jacob's brain. This is Jacob's brain with cancer right. and without cancer. You guys are going to be great. The big white spot in the middle is yeah. the cancer. And then this is following radiation. Right. Well, the little peanut over here is a scar tissue. The little peanut's his brain. <laughs> <laughs> the, that one thing is liposome is they're actually uh, for it. Yeah. The left side to the right, on the right, right side to the left. First over yeah. last, last over first. Hey, remember, you know what I told them? With the first kid, you do everything, right? The second kid, you just kick him in the butt and tell him to get outside. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, always, I always remember, like, the first kid, the pacifier falls. Oh, we got to sterilize Clean this. He can't, oh, he can't have it again. Fire. The second kid, you, use a you knock it off. And, <laughs> <here you go. laughs> Five second rule. Yeah. <laughs> Cyrus just came out and I was like... There you yeah. go. That's a good dad. Yeah. That makes so much sense. Yeah, that's a good dad. Yeah, then so we got to put it in hot water. We got. I was like, dude, heck no. <laughs> nice. Cyrus is like, come on, dad. <laughs> Cyrus does it himself. <laughs> <now. laughs> Drops up, picks it up, and eats it. Yep. Oh, that's how you roll. That's how you keep from getting sick. Yep. Yeah, you got to keep them germs because otherwise you get sick easier. Let them eat mud pies. Um, yeah. All right. Like I'm making sure. Came from the dirt. Before it for us. We're eating ourselves. What? <laughs> so Allie sees her out there eating bark off the tree. What is she doing? <laughs> Natural. They're okay, just praying for something. Okay, Yeah, you're She's right. Eight thirty. What's up? Uh, <laughs> let's pray. No other prayers. We're all good. All good in the church. Oh, good in the hood. I tried not to say that. <laughs> I know, you guys are so disrespectful. Oh, good in the hood. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just, Lord, thank you for the study, Lord. It was so amazing, so uplifting, and just empowering, Lord. We ask that you would just continue. I know it's something that a lot of people don't want to pray for, but continue convicting us, Lord. 
continue showing us the things that are not right in our life, continue opening up those wounds and uh, showing us the nasty stuff that we're holding on to, Lord. And show us the way to have it cleansed is going to you and clinging to you, Lord. We ask that uh, you would have your hands over everyone here, Lord, everyone watching online and everyone that couldn't be here, Lord. We just ask that you would just have your hands over them, protect, lead, and guide them and give them strength, Lord, with whatever they're going through, whatever we as a family are going through, Lord. We ask that you would continue leading this church, Lord, in your spirit, Lord. We ask that you would have your hand over Sarah's cousin Angela, Lord. Just continue doing this blessing in her life, Lord. Continue growing her and revealing to her and uh, the person I left her, Lord. We ask that you would just uh, lead her too, Lord. Just lead them both. Help them both see your light and help them both continue to strive for it, Lord. We ask that you would also have your hand over her cousin Christopher, Lord, in the job, Lord. We ask that you would just have your blessings over him, help him to get the job that he so desperately needs, Lord. Just bless him, Lord, with with the provision that comes from you, Lord. We ask that you would just continue having your hands over Sarah's entire family, everything going on in her family. It sounds so uplifting, Lord. Just continue being with her entire family. Continue leading each person, Lord. And if they don't know you, we ask that you would just Reveal yourself in such a way that they would see you, Lord. We ask that you would have your hand over Karen and Denise. Me personally, I don't know what's going on, Lord, or oh, you do, Lord. And we ask that whatever it is, you would have your hands in it, Lord. Just provide for what they need, Lord. We ask this over both of them, Lord. Provide for what they need and the needs over their life, Lord. We ask your hand over um, Sarah as well, Lord. Just Amen. Thank you for the light that's shining in her, Lord. The desire to keep going. The desire to fix the things that aren't right in her life. The desire to just fix the relationships and fix the family. Fix everything, Lord. We ask that you would continue working in her life. Continue revealing the things that she needs to work on, Lord. And just help her with them, Lord. Hold her hand as, as she's going through it, Lord. We ask your hand over Tina, Lord, and we ask your healing hands over her, Lord. Just help her to get through this time, Lord. Help her to get through. I know she was going through doctor's appointments after doctor appointment, Lord. We ask that you would just have your blessings over her, Lord. Just heal her and help her to get better, to enjoy these days that she has, Lord. And to continue to spread your word, Lord. I remember every time I would go over there, she would always just be in such a joyful mood and wanting to wait on you and just, I thank you for that heart she has, Lord. We ask that you would just bless her, Lord. We ask your hand over Memo and his family, Lord. And we ask your healing hands over Memo, Lord. Give him strength, Lord. This last Sunday was awesome. The message was awesome that you gave him, Lord. We ask that you would continue to strengthen him, Lord. When he was preaching, I didn't see pain. I didn't see um, weakness or anything, Lord. What I saw was you working and strengthening him, Lord. And I ask that every single day for him, Lord. Help him to get up in that strength, Lord. And we ask your hand over his family as well, Lord, that they would have peace and that they would have understanding, Lord. Be with them and give them strength, Lord. We ask your hand over Mary Jane, Lord. Just remove these headaches from her, Lord. Remove the migraines entirely, Lord. Just rebuke it out of her life, Lord. So that it wouldn't be in her mind no more, Lord. Take it out, Lord. Help her to wake up and have no pain, Lord. And be able to be here. Be able to be at church and fellowship with her family, Lord. Just heal her, Lord. <clears throat> We ask your hand over Daniel, Lord. I was thankful when he walked in. Yes, Late or early, Lord, it doesn't matter. We just thank you for his presence, Lord. And we thank you for what you're doing in his life, that you have your hand over his life, Lord. And we continue asking that you have your hand over his life, Lord, your provision, your strength, and help him to continue wanting to be here, Lord. Because the fact is, is he wants to be here to hear your word, Lord, to read your word, Lord. 
and to be in your presence. It's not about the people here. It's about you, Lord. And I thank you for that, Lord. Lord, have your hand over my brother's MRI and the coming time, Lord. Help it be clear and clean, Lord. And we ask that you would ease his anxiety, ease his nerves, and everything about him, Lord. Just give him a peace and a comfort over it, Lord. And Lord, we ask your hand over Jacob and Ali and the family, Lord. Just first off, I thank you for the um, clean delivery, Lord, that she was able to have the uh, C-section that she wanted, Lord. And we thank you that it went well and that there was no complications, nothing, Lord, that it was just easy and smooth. We thank you for that uh, blessing, Lord. Um, thank you for a healthy baby as well, Lord. We ask that you would just give both Jacob and Allie the wisdom onto raising this child, Lord, mm -hmm. to raising them in you, Lord, and that she would just grow up healthy, strong, and knowledgeable about you, Lord, that everywhere she goes and everywhere she sees, when she sees her parents, she sees you, Lord. She sees you working through their life and that she would have a knowledge about you, Lord. We ask that you would just bless them, Lord. Bless them with the wisdom to train this child, Lord. And we pray for that phone call as well, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's only happening because it's so late. Yeah. But we thank you for everything, Lord. We thank you for everything you're doing and everything you're working in. We see you handed so many things, Lord. Mm -hmm. We just ask that you would continue working through us and in us and in this church, Lord. Don't go away from us, but always be here, Lord. Mm -hmm. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.